The following program may contain language of an adult nature. Listener discretion is advised. Views and opinions expressed on the following program are those of the hosts and guests, and not necessarily those of the staff or management of Alt Talk Radio dot net. We are anonymous. And if you don't know, you better ask somebody. My boy Maxwell Silverhammer and my bottom bitch jerk man will set you straight with some good all true shit and none of that shit that irks me. Hey Maxie baby, I still got them videos. You fill my cereal port perfectly. Bitch. Ah, uh, yes! Finally kicked those fuckers off the air! It's about goddamn time I got sick of those fucks. Yeah, that G.J. Jerkman and Maxwell Silverhammer with all their goddamn co- anti you know what? talk. I'm, I'm, I'm just be happy. We're gonna go celebrate right now. Oh. I think we should go do some golf and butt fuck one another. Oh, that's the greatest. I'm ready. Hold on. Right. Uh, we'll go get in the car here. Get the hell away the other side. Another side. There we go. There we go. This is a great day. <laughs> I'm gonna start it up now. You ready? These bastards. Let's go. Yeah. Bora Bora, here we go. It's the Still Radio Show. Maxwell Silverhammer, GJ Jerkman, Cruise Control, and G. Motor. Do you smell fire? I think somebody lit a cigarette. No, it's the hottest radio show on the internet. So keep it locked here from 7 to 9. Cause the STEM radio fam, they ahead of their time. And now with lesson one, main, this is lesson two. No format because they keep it fresh and new. And this is what I call HQ. A whip, you a musical genius, man. They can't paint it like a face is. But if the content is making you sick, taste some bake wheel. And if you think that the jocks sound quirky, allow me to introduce you to the shit that irks me. Still Welcome to the Stim Radio Show. The man behind the mic has more Red Lobster coupons than the original owner of Red Lobster, Maxwell Silverhammer. Oh, yes, bitch <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the shit that fucking cocksucking irks me. I'll get you later. <laughs> you know, I just noticed something. Huh. Keep talking. I, forget. I, don't, I don't have the lights on in here. Lights are off? Yeah. Oh, so you've been walking around with the lights off. Let's see. Yeah. That's how it is, man. You're so used to the building, and you know that's why you don't need the lights. The site don't need the light, uh, contrary to popular fucking belief. So actually, I have a funny, something kind of funny to start out with, um, and I got to give a shout out to Paul, the security guard over at the Flamingo Library or at the Clark County Library, because uh, I go there for an event uh, the second and fourth Wednesday of each month, and uh, it's, they're two different events, but they happen to be held at the same library. And uh, so what I do is I'll go in, and every time I've gone in there, I've had to either shit or piss. <laughs> and so uh, the first time I went in there, and I in the security guard came up, you know, I went to the desk and I said, "Hey, I need security. Can you know somebody to walk me down to where I need to go? And if you could show me where the bathroom is too." So this Paul guy comes up and he takes me in, and that was the time there was no toilet paper in the fucking stall. So I had to get some paper towels and wipe. So uh, that was the first time. Second time, I just had to piss. And then now this time, I go in there. And again, I, you know, I'm like, God, I got to shit. I, I don't know if it's Pavlovian. Like, ah, well, here's, we're, at the, we're at the Clark County Library now. So I uh, guess I'll uh, got some time. Man, I got to shit. So, uh, or piss or do whatever. So I go in today, and I go up to the desk, and before I could say anything, this Paul guy walks up. He's like, hey, bro, how you doing? I'm like, hey, man, um, can you, um, I got the, my meeting, but, you know, I got some time. Can you take me to the bathroom? So he's like, yeah, okay. So he takes me in the bathroom, and I'm like, yeah, man, I got to use the stall. I apologize for this. So I go in, you know, so meanwhile, he's standing in the bathroom. <laughs> well, I do one of those, you know, I have one of those loud, ripping, you know, explosive shits. <laughs> <laughs> not you and so uh, i do my i take my shit you know it's you know really gaseous air shit and it's very explosive and uh so then i finish up and i walk out and notice he's not in there 
So I wash my hands and everything, and then I walk out of the door, and he's standing out there, and he's like, all right, you ready? And I'm like, yeah, I'm ready to go, man. So I think, I think as soon as he heard that, he started running for cover. Like, I'm not standing in there while he fucking does that shit. Well, can you blame him? Well, of course not. I felt kind of bad to begin with because I'm like, is he just going to stand in there? You know, that's why I apologize. I said, oh, I'm, I'm going to be a minute, man. I'm going to use the stall. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that was, uh, it's just kind of funny that every time I'm there, you know, I wind up having to either shit or piss. And it's like part of our ritual now. Like, hey, Paul, <laughs> time to take me to the bathroom, man. I think you just do it by habit. I think it's Pavlovian. Yeah, I you think know? so too. I just feel like I got to go and I'm like, okay, I got to fucking take a shit, <laughs> you know, because <laughs> it used to be, you know, years ago. You know, especially at school, I never wanted to shit at school. You know, if I had to shit, right. I would hold it because I didn't like, well, number one, the stalls had no doors, you know, so when you went in the boys' bathrooms, you know, everybody can watch you shit and you know how kids are, man. <laughs> the blind guy's taking his shit, you know, because I'm not supposed to shit. You know that. Well, no. And uh, so, yeah, I, I just never liked shitting at school. I think there was one time, well, as I got older, the stalls actually had doors, you know, in high school. But, uh, and that was around the time when I used to eat the oatmeal with the prunes, remember? <laughs> so by second period, I was asking to go to the bathroom because I'd have to fucking, <laughs> fucking take an explosive shit. But uh, in elementary school, I only, there was one time I was sick, actually, and I really had to shit. So I finally, I, you know, asked if I can go to the bathroom, and I went and actually, they did have one stall. I think it was like a handicap stall or something, but it had a door. So I and nobody was in the bathroom, and I was like, "Oh, good." So I just went in there and I took a you know nice liquid shit. But uh, normally, in, shits are not supposed to be liquid. Well, I was sick. I told you. Yeah. But. <laughs> so you know that's what it was. But hey, it, it cleaned me out. I was good. You know, until sure I got it home. You out. So. But yeah, I, I ate with Gary. I just, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You're just you're just mad because Jeremy doesn't come back anymore. You miss yeah, him. His show's done. He's not doing it anymore. You miss him, man. You're like, damn it. Who can I pound in the ass now? Yeah, you got to find a new one to rag on because he's gone. <laughs> That's all right. I haven't seen Gary in like five years. So you know, I mean, but you still run with that one. So uh, I guess, guess what? mileage from it. Yeah. So, well, I know you got mileage from Jeremy. If wow. You know what I'm <laughs> So yeah, there's my um, there's my my great uh, shit stories for you, you know. But I yeah, I used to never use public bathrooms, but now fuck it, if I gotta go, I gotta go, because you know I'm not home half the time anyway. Right. So you know I gotta shit at work or I gotta shit you know wherever I'm gonna go. <laughs> I don't care about making noise. If anything, that clears out the bathroom quicker. Right. You know when you're in there and you just you know have an explosive shit because you know people are like. Oh fuck! I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that was um, that was the deal there. Now, I want to tell you about the iPad, the thing you love so much. Oh, my favorite thing in the world! This I'm mother sure you do like it. This motherfucking thing. I just you know you saw my rant a few weeks ago about you know I, I realized why I got one of these you know <laughs> not not so I could you know, learn how to work it necessarily, but right. just so I'd have a stronger argument when it came to people, you know, cause I, and I bitched about, I think I bitched about this a few weeks ago, you know, where I was saying, you know, how are blind people expected to use this thing right. when everything changes, nothing's consistent with the thing, you know, everything moves on you all the time. That's like saying, well, I'm blind. I'm going to learn my way around a house, but every time I go there, the furniture's moved around. <laughs> so how are you going to learn the place if everything's moved around every time and nothing's in the same place? Right. You know, you can't. It's just, it defies anything you ever been taught. So anyway, I, I've really hated this fucking iPad, you know, and uh, somebody lent me a, I finally got a Bluetooth keyboard. So I got a, somebody coming over, uh, not this weekend, but next weekend to show me how to work it with a Bluetooth keyboard. Anyway, the other night I get home from the show. And, you know, I, I keep it in sleep mode. So, you know, it just, if I want to turn it on, I can, you know, whatever. Right. So I'm in the kitchen, I'm eating. All of a sudden I hear something talking. And I'm like, wait a minute, that's my iPad. <laughs> and it's going, you know, muted, unmuted, muted, unmuted. And I'm going. Oh, flipping out? Yeah, it's just talking. <laughs> so then I walk, I walk in there, and then I hear something like, I hear applications <laughs> opening. You know how it makes that. Right. You know. And it's, it sounds like somebody's actually, it reminds me of like when somebody remotes into my computer mm -hmm. when, with, when I have JAWS on, 
I can hear them moving around and, and you know, hitting shit and clicking on things and all that kind of stuff. And I heard them it distinctly said contacts, and I heard my contacts open. And I'm like, some motherfucker's in my goddamn iPad. <laughs> and so n- now I'm grabbing the thing, and I'm trying to swipe and trying to close shit, and it's not letting me close anything. And I'm like, oh, God. And uh, so I'm playing tug of, war, tug of war with the goddamn iPad. And finally I was able to get everything to close. And then I was able to get it to shut down. And so now I've shut it down, and I haven't opened it since. But I'm thinking somebody was hacking into my iPad. And wow. from what you say, Jerkman, they're very hackable, right? Yeah, they can be, yeah. See, because that's what I'm thinking. Because it just won't do that by itself. I knew what the fuck I heard. <laughs> so, of course, I asked two people. One is somebody who is very dick writative about the I anything, loves Apple, crapple, everything. And I asked, I told him, and he's like, no, man, no, no, there's no way. That shit never would happen, man. That Those things are too secure. And I'm thinking, yeah, right. And then I asked another guy, and he said it could happen, but it's very unlikely. And I'm like. Could have been just on the fritz, too. Um, could have been just freaking out. But why? Like I said, things were opening up, and I could hear, like, somebody had been, was clicking around and, you know opening things and huh. so it, to me it sounded like somebody was in it i mean you know? it is possible yeah because i mean to me it sounded like there was somebody remoted into my ipad you know huh. doing some shit very strange so and you know i the one guy was like well i don't think anyone in your apartment people complex. probably hacking trying to get your coupons off of it well no you know what he was doing well you know do you do remember a few weeks ago i got my credit card compromised and, yeah, that's right. you know, with Apple, you've got to have a credit card on file. file. Yeah, you mm-hmm. have to. So it just so happens, you know, <laughs> like I said, the two possible situations were A, the bar, or B, the iPad. That's what I'm, th- that, those are my two suspects right now. <laughs> so, and that was the credit card that went, and like I said, the date changed on it. Um, it was the older card that I had. But, you know, the expiration date, right. but the card number was still the same. And it also had the same CVV number on the back. So maybe somebody hacked into my shit when I wasn't home and used, you know, tried to use my card. <laughs> so, but it's just funny. You know, they talk about these things are the greatest and the be all to end all. And I'm like, uh, if somebody can hack that easily into my shit. Um, you ain't happy with it. Yeah, I'm, that bothers me, man. That kind of scares me, like. You know, because right away, like I said, when it was flipping out like that, I'm like, what's and at one point, my one friend who loves the Apple so much, you know, was like, well, maybe, you know, something was sitting on it. And I'm like, no, it was in my hand doing this, you know, because <laughs> I picked it up. That's what I thought at first, too. I thought there was something maybe sitting on it. Right. And that, making the screen because it's touchable. Right. And but then when I picked it up, you know, then it's still doing it in my hand. And I'm like, OK, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> so I haven't turned it on since. I'm a little afraid to, to, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's like a grenade to you, huh? Yeah. Well, yeah, just like the iPhone was that day. You know, like, let's get rid of this now. Get the fuck rid of this thing. Get it off my desk. Man, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll pay for the gas. Get you some to eat. <laughs> and I did, too, man. Go buy your bonbons. I don't give a shit. Get your ass here now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was serious about that. That was horrible. <laughs> I, you know what? I just don't. <laughs> You don't I, care for them. I grew up on Windows. Right. Windows is, I mean, okay, I used Apple when I was little, you know, when we played Oregon Trail and <laughs> fucking, you know, games like that. Right. But, um, and Word Talk was a program that, you know, was a, actually was a, it wasn't a program. It was actually hardware um, and that you put into the machine and, uh, you know, you get on and, and it you can type and it's a word processing program pretty much. Right. But, uh, you know, that was my... You know, as a kid, but those were simple things. But as far as doing Internet stuff and more advanced stuff, you know, it's been, you know, Windows all the way. <laughs> for, right. So now all of a sudden you're going to tell me, oh, you, you need to switch to Apple. You know, that's like, um, no, you're fucking crazy. This is what I've been using the whole time. <laughs> so, I mean, I don't want to close myself off, right. you know, and I'm going to attempt to learn it. But usually if something doesn't qu- doesn't click with me right away then right. chances are it ain't never going to click with me <laughs> <laughs> you know or watch there be a problem with it that that's the other thing too you know i've told you that before that you know 
I've had issues with stuff and people never believe me. Oh, no, it can't be that. It's the user error. You're stupid. The machine's not, you know, just fucking. You. Well, I mean, you are kind of dumb, but. I know I am, but, you know. <laughs> don't you just love when they do that, though? Oh, yeah. Well, I told you there was a situation years ago. I, my dad got me this device called a Type and Speak, which is a, um, a note-taking device. And it came with, with cassette tapes, a manual. And the guy walks you through it step by step. It's a really good manual. Mm -hmm. um, you know, he, he's on there and he's like, all right, we're going to turn it on now. And so he turned it on and it would talk and say, type and speak ready, you know, whatever now open. So then you'd have to go and he told you how to make a, fi a file and how to do all that. Well, I'm trying to do that with this machine and it's not doing it. And I'm like, dad, it's not doing what it's supposed to be doing. And he's like, oh, no, son, you just got to listen to those tapes. And I'm like, okay, dad. So I'm listening to the tapes, and I'm like, it's still not, not – I can't do any of the shit he's doing right. because it's not, it's not behaving the same way as the one on the, on the cassette. So anyway, long story short, I finally took it to school with me because my dad insisted I do that. You know, I took it to college, and I took it to the Disability Resource Center, and I said, can you guys figure this thing out? So they actually called the company, and she played it over the phone what it was doing, and the guy goes – it shouldn't be doing that. It's <laughs> defective. You need to send it back. <laughs> so I told my dad, and he was totally pissed off. He's like, God damn it. It's all dead. I'm like, Dad, I tried to tell you this shit months ago, you know, and you didn't want to listen to me. <laughs> you know, so the only person you can be mad at is who? The man in the mirror. <laughs> so, but yeah, I hate that shit when nobody will fucking listen to you and say, Look, I, I, this is just a pain in the ass. I can't. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Everybody poo poos <laughs> you. You know, you're stupid. You know, you just can't get it to work because you don't want it to. That's it. That's your fucking problem. <laughs> so, and there's such a learning curve, too, when it comes, obviously, with CITES versus blindos on computers. So, you know, when you go, um, like, I remember when I was first learning how to use, you know, a shell, and I got in a huge fucking fight. Because, <laughs> you know, I had this computer, you know, and I'm like, okay, how the fuck do you use it? And she was like, okay, well, just click the mouse. I'm like. I can't click the mouse. It's a visual thing. She's like, well, yeah, you can. Just move it forward and click it. And I'm like, it doesn't work the same fucking way. <laughs> and I'm trying to explain that to her. You know, and she's like, oh, no, no, no. Blind people can use a mouse. I Man, I've had a million arguments with people about that shit, mm -hmm. that a blind person can use a mouse. And I'm like, you show me that blind person, and I will blow him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I will not suck dick normally, but in this case, I will suck some dick. Because <laughs> I don't think you're gonna find that person. <laughs> so, I don't know if it's a chick, if it's a chick, I'll eat her pussy. Yeah. <laughs> you should have started out with that, I think. <laughs> no, but the thing is, it, it may be a guy. Who knows? You know. But that's the point. Even you know, even if it is a guy, it just goes to show you, you'll never find him. <laughs> so anyway, but uh, yeah, no, I've I've had that. I've gone back and forth with people about that, and you know. They have no clue. It's like, look, it doesn't work the same way. <laughs> you know, it's a totally separate, you know, my, the way I use a computer versus the way you use a computer is totally fucking different. Yeah. But, you know, people will, well, like I said, now you argue with other blind people because they're so fucking into this. I, everything, I, I book and fucking, you know, I pay. Matter of fact, there's a guy on YouTube. Um, I think I've talked about him before. His name is uh, Tommy Edison, the blind film critic, blind film critic. <laughs> and so it, there was one where it said how do blind people use a computer and he goes through pretty much everything you know daily shit you know showing people how blind people do this and blind people do all that right. you know and so he's like all right so i'm gonna show you how i use a computer he's like i got a uh, macbook here i'm like oh you fucker hmm. <laughs> i just lost all respect for you i thought you were great until that happened <laughs> now you have a macbook i'm like oh dude goodbye <laughs> you know but that's the thing, man. Everybody's brainwashed to believe that, you know, it's, like, hey, that's Apple's the way, man. Apple, that's, a, I call it crapple. That's what they do. It's, man. Everybody wants that Apple because everybody's told it's the best. Shit. That's what you want. You have to have well, that. I've never seen people, I mean, they almost get, like, angry. Like, you're talking about a family member. Right. You know, like when you say, oh, Apple's shit. You know, and they're like, no, it's not. You know, and they'll, they'll They feel argue. they have to defend it. Yeah, why? Because that's what they do. I mean, I would just be like, oh, yeah, well, I happen to prefer, 
you know, if there's something that I use that somebody else doesn't, mm -hmm. you know, like Jaws versus Window Eyes or something, you know, I, I would be like, well, you know, personally, I prefer Jaws, but that's just me. Mm -hmm. You know, it's nothing personal. You know, it doesn't make you a piece of shit because you like Window Eyes, but, you know, it's still, uh, you know, <laughs> but these people, they really, you know, oh, well, you should, you should go for the, you know, the Apple. Apple. You know, have to. Go for the iPhone. It's the greatest. And the iPad. Or as I call it, the guy phone. <laughs> I, I still haven't found a redeeming quality in it. Believe me, I'm trying. You know, it's like everything. Good luck. People always, you know, they tell you, oh, it's, it's great. You got it. And I'm like, no, it's not great. I hate it. It doesn't work. Oh, no, 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 no. You just, you just got to. And I'm like, look, it doesn't work for me. You know? said, I'm not a fan of Apple. <laughs> yeah. And some people aren't. Nope. So, but I just thought it was kind of funny that it's so easily hacked into, you know, the, the hackle, the hackle, the apple. Apple, yeah, apple, the, the apple, it's apple, be hacked. Apple, apple. So yes, I will. I will make a fighting, a fighting attempt to try to to learn it. But well, you ain't got no choice if you're going to be using it with your job. Well, that's it. But like I was telling you, there's an Android app now too. So you know, I want to play with an Android, <laughs> <laughs> kind of learn that and see how that goes. Yeah, yeah, because if that's the case, well, they probably want you to know both at that point then. Yeah, yeah, well, that's it. But that's why I figure, hey, at least get me used to that kind of technology to see which one I like yeah. and which one seems to work better. And, uh, yeah, let's <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. So, anyway, that's uh, that's that. I, I got another bitch, a Facebook bitch, but I think I'm going to wait with that because we're almost at the end of the segment here. Yeah. So then I'm going to, when we come back, I'm going to bitch about fucking lame asses on facebook that got no if you don't have friends stay the fuck off facebook <laughs> don't use it as a way to meet people you know that's all i gotta say why not because well haven't uh, you met people through facebook people mm, you love and adore well not really <laughs> <laughs> i mean there's people i've networked with that i've got to know they're cool maybe right but that's through my maxwell page and that's right. you know i mean this is the show and it's a totally different set up in that case you know but for my personal page it's a whole different ball game so but we will we'll get into that in a little bit oh by the way if you need a handyman called dunright handyman uh warren peck really awesome good guy 702-628-3352 is his number 702-628-3352 and uh he does everything man plumbing everything plumbing air conditioning whatever the fuck you need Give me a call. Be right back, bitches. You're a fan of hip hop and R&B. Join me, the Bruh Bruh Ren, for a full non-stop hour of back-to-back -back slappers. Uh, back-to-back -back slappers. Where the playlist spans from genres like R&B, soul, R&B, soul. Pacific Standard Time and Saturday at midnight Eastern Standard Time only on the Tough Love Show on J and J dot FM. We think it's the banning of we are anonymous, and if you don't know, you better ask somebody. My boy Maxwell Silver Hammer and my bottom bitch jerk man will set you straight with some good all true shit and none of the shit that irks me. Hey Maxie baby, I still got them videos. You fill my cereal port perfectly. Bitch. Hey, hey, most people don't plan to fail, but a lot of people fail to plan, and it really don't have to be like that. What? 
that you know about an IRA or a tax deferred 401k. What you gotta pay to the government? Ever heard of a tax exempt retirement? That's info most folks don't know. What you gonna do if you live too long? What you gonna do if you die too soon? Can your spouse afford the house? Will your family go bankrupt if you get sick? You got a plan in place to cover medical debt? I'm not talking about Advil. I'm speaking on long term ill. You ever seen a bill from that home where Big Mama went to live? It's like $73,000 a year. How you gonna pay for that? 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 You work hard every day, but you really don't like it. You're looking at a retirement crisis. Got a good education, got a good job, got the age and the time, but still got robbed in 2008 when the market crashed. Wanna tell your boss to kiss your bus pass, but you can't cause you upside down and your savings on life support right now. Said you can't cause you upside down and your savings on life support right now. So you wake up in the morning and you put on your game face. Then you run out the house late headed to the same place. On the bus like I'm stuck, 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 stuck. In your car like I'm stuck, 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 stuck. What you need is a solution, more income and less confusion. What you gonna do, where you gonna go, who you gonna talk to to get the info. And get money, you can talk to me, you can talk to me, we got what you need, and you can join the team. Build yourself and build your wealth by sharing what you learn with somebody else. Each one, teach one how money works. Stay compliant so nobody gets hurt. Move like a union, be ambitious. We all independent, follow the system. Move like a union, be ambitious. We all independent, follow the system. Hey, this is Travis. This song was recorded to get your attention. I have some powerful financial information that you should hear. The things that you need to put in place for a solid financial foundation in case you live too long, die too soon, if you become disabled or need to go into a home, or if you simply need access to a tax-free supplemental retirement or emergency fund, we have the information to put these proper plans in place in case any of these things happen. Contact me at my email. That's T. K-E-E-T-O-N-W-F-G at gmail.com. That's T-K-E-E-T-O-N-W-F-G at gmail.com. Let's set up an appointment, sit down at the kitchen table or coffee shop somewhere. I'll show you the information. If you have the need and the means, let's get it done. Or... If you're looking for a business with a great compensation plan and a proven system, you should join the team. I know this business isn't for everyone, but it's one of those rare situations where if we all follow the system, it can be a win for all involved. The companies win, the clients win, or the families win, the brokers win. We're entrepreneurs, we're our own bosses, Everyone is a broker. We can make good money and travel around the world on the company's dime. Let's at least try to do it. At last, the wait's finally over. Be Sick returns from a long hiatus with a brand new album entitled Mr. Zero Tolerance. Available for digital download only. Be Sick's no punches pulled approach on the mic gives listeners what they want as well as gives the rap game a well-deserved kick in the ass with such hard-hitting gems as the title track, Mr. Zero Tolerance. Mr. Zero fucking tolerance, you think that you're fun. My touch in the gut, my toleration is nuts. Fucking buster and I'm Or the laid-back, fun-filled street I'm anthem entitled Change of Pace featuring Ghost. This is something to fuck. As a gift to the haters, so turn it up loud just to piss off your neighbors. And if you out rolling, you be getting a ticket. And if you straight to the guts, bus, blind to the facts. Blind to the facts that your mind's in a trap. Blind to the facts that with time we adapt. Blind to the facts that what you don't understand. Blind to the facts by the media scan. Blind to the facts of what you read in a book. Blind to the facts. If you Download your copy book. today of Mr. Zero blind Tolerance to from www.cdbaby.com or go to www.cdbaby.com slash cd slash b62. Download your copy today. Keep the realness in the rap game. Yee! 
what up, though? It's the Undeniable JT Money, a.k.a. the Bitch Eyeser. And you tuned in to STEM Radio with Maxwell Silverhammer and GJ the Jerk Man. Heavy that. And guess what? They hate hoes all much as much as I do. So don't sleep on these cats. And speaking of sleeping, don't forget to check out my new single, Hustling, from my new project, Morning Wood. It's going down heavy, baby. And speaking of being out, I'm out like a busted traffic, like you already know. Get him, Jay! We think it's the uh, banning of we speech. are anonymous. And if you don't know, you better ask somebody. My boy Maxwell Silverhammer and my bottom bitch jerk man will set you straight with some good all true shit and none of that shit that irks me. Hey, Maxie baby, I still got them videos. You fill my cereal port perfectly. Bitch. Back to the STEM Radio Show with the man behind the mic. Actually, is upset because he could not have sex with his Apple products. Maxwell Silverhammer. Oh, yes. Somebody else was fucking my Apple. <laughs> <laughs> man, all right. So, my Facebook bitch. Now, here's the deal. Facebook is for people that have friends. Sites like Meet Me and Match.com are for those that don't. <laughs> so, you know... And here's the thing. It's like on my Maxwell page, obviously, it's a little different because if somebody has me on there, you know, it might be somebody who likes the show. It might be somebody who wants to get their music heard. It might be somebody that's, you know, wants to network in some way. So I, I add those people because, you know, that's just what that page is for. But now my regular page, my actual personal page, that's a little different. Because that's for family. You know, the way I look at Facebook anyway is an online Rolodex. Mm -hmm. So, you know, even my, you know, like my Maxwell page is, is people, my contacts, you know, people I'll network with or, you know, that make be on the show at some point. Right. Or that I'm going to try to get on the show. And even when I send somebody a friend request that I don't know, um, you know, on the Maxwell page, I send them a message telling them who I am. You know, hey, I do an online radio show. I'm not just some creepo fucking stalker, you know. <laughs> and this is why I sent you a friend request. And I'd like to get you on and, you know, do all that. All right. But to my personal page, obviously, if you go to my personal page, you see I'm just a, a regular guy. You know, it's just me and, you know, I'm, you, I'm there at work or whatever the fuck it is you see right. me doing. So, but I get these weird friend requests to my personal page all the time. And, like, I got two last night. I logged in there. One guy was some guy named Sean McGuckin. You know, he was from originally from Phoenix. Now he's in, living in Vegas, and we have no mutual friends. He's got, like, 700 and something friends on there. So what it looks to me like is he's probably new in Vegas and wants to meet people or some weird shit. Why the fuck you would choose Facebook to try to meet people? I don't know, because, you know, the whole justification for the shit they did, you know, with why I had to change my, remember, you know, how to put the Thomas on the right. silver, on the Maxwell yeah, silver hammer. Thomas. Yeah. The reason I had to do that is because they were like, dude, we're doing this so this way your friends can find you easier. And it's like, look, you know, <laughs> if I want my friends to find me, I'll, you know, don't you think I'm smart enough to fucking, you know, put my real name, you well, know. Or, are you smart enough? Well, in their <laughs> mind, I guess not. You know, because we we want we have to do everything for you. You're too stupid. So are you, you too stupid? Well, they must think so. <laughs> they, that's probably their mindset. I'm just posing these questions because apparently they are. Yeah. Well, that's in that. But the whole thing is that's their justification. So right. if they're using that as a justification, you know, well, obviously, then Facebook is for people to look up old friends and find them and add them and reconnect. You know, like we said, right. the online Rolodex. And on my personal page, you know, it's just you know, friends, family members, and, you know, associates and, you know, confidants from work and, and right. shit like that. But nobody I don't know. You know, I just, uh, because, you know, I don't want to, well, for several reasons. One is, you know, there are people that know of me. Right. And, you know, they probably know what I do. And I could see some, you know, say some jack-off loses his job. Then I add him. I don't know who he is. 
And all of a sudden now he's, you know, copying my posts and sending emails to my bosses. Look what this fucker's posting on Facebook. And look at the shit he says. You know, that happened to um, a friend of mine. Oh, well, actually another guy that I know from Facebook who worked at a hotel. And he was a security guard. And he was bad-mouthing. Well, actually it was just, he was talking about Justin Bieber. <laughs> and he was escorting Justin Bieber, and he was saying what a dick he was, and he's like, the guy's a total douchebag. Remember that? Yeah, remember that? Mm -hmm. And somebody actually copied the whole post, put it in an email, and emailed his bosses, and he got fired. So you know, it's like, well, what do you want, asshole? You know, are you? You're not doing this for the common good. You're doing this because you think there's something in it for you. Yep. So I don't need some fuck face I don't know to, you know, all of a sudden start poking into my personal life. I think you do. Well, no. You need a caretaker. Yeah. <laughs> fuck, I need a caretaker like, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I need a caretaker like you need that cancer, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, so these people, then there were some other chick, chef somebody, and she's with like the live well, be well plan, you know, through work. And I'm like, who the fuck are you? You know, I definitely, you know, if you, you tried to add me so you could sell me on that shit, they're always trying to call me and get me to sign up for that bullshit. But I'm not doing that because they tell you, you know, what you can eat. You know, you have to maintain a certain weight. You know, you can't smoke. You can't drink. You can't do anything. They just want to run your fucking life. Just another way to control you. So, you know, I've never signed up for that program. But now this woman... Because we, in this case, this lady and I had two mutual friends, and one was a ex coworker of mine, and one was this other lady from this other organization that I've heard some bad things about her. Anyway, so I'm like, I'm not adding you either. So the, now the Sean guy, I wasn't sure. Maybe I knew him. You know, some a name like that. You know, I'm like, well, I don't know who that is, but let me send him a message. And that's usually what I do. I try to give him the benefit of the doubt, and I'll send him a message and I'll say, hey, do I know you? You know, and sometimes, you know, I've had people write back. Yeah, you remember me? We took so-and-so's class together. We, You know, right. and then right away I'm like, oh, OK, I know who you are. I'll go ahead and add you, you know. But when they don't write back, that's pretty Makes suspect. You suspicious. Yeah, because I wrote this guy and I said, hey, do I know you? He never wrote back. So I'm like, all right, fuck this. So I deleted the friend request. But, um, yeah, I'm just I'm not going to add anybody I don't know, mm -hmm. you know. And, uh, you know, the story that Tootsie Toes told me definitely a reason not to fucking meet strange people on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> obviously you really have a problem. But, you know, I, on, on other sites, you know, like Meet Me, that's kind of a, a a forum, you know, for that kind of stuff. You know, obviously people get on there because they want to meet someone to date or they want to meet some friends or whatever. That's, you know, like I said, Facebook's for those who do have friends. <laughs> Match.com and Meet Me are for those that don't. So if you don't have any friends, that's where you should be going. That's where you should be meeting people and adding people. And, you know, when people send you strange friend requests to your, um, right. to, you know, to your personal page, like I said, it's one thing with my Maxwell page because it could be anybody. They could be a fan of the show. It could be somebody, yeah. you know, who, like I said, heard, you know, heard one of their friends on, on the show and wants to get on themselves. So, you know, you really don't know. So I add everybody, although I've gotten more discriminating there, too. Because if, unfortunately, if they're a woman, I check them out because they right. might be a hooker bot. Maybe. I'm yeah, because bot. I've made that mistake where I've added a, a female. And the next thing you know, I'm getting an inbox message talking about, you know, hey, I like your profile picture. And, you know, send me a text message to this number. And, you know, let's go out. And you're just like, who the fuck are you? <laughs> you know? <laughs> right. So th those people get deleted real fast. And um, like super fast. Oh, super fast. Fuck. Yeah. How fast would super fast be if you had to put it in calculations of seconds Um, or milliseconds? Well, I would say, say I add you, you sent me that message. I'd mm -hmm. say I, I put it more in minutes. Minutes. Okay. Yeah, I put it in minutes. That'd probably get you deleted in like two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> so if I add you and all of a sudden I got an inbox message, you know, of somebody going, how are you? I'm like, oh, I know what kind of person you are. Goodbye. You're mm -hmm. out of here. So, yeah, I, I, like I said, it's, it's an online Rolodex. It's not a place to, you know, make buddies, right. you know, make frenziesies. So, yeah, that's it. And people might think I have a, a harsh attitude towards that, but you got to protect yourself, man. You know, <laughs> especially if you're now on your page, you're kind of, it's tough for you, man. Yeah, I just let everybody on kind of for the most part. I mean, I, I try to weed out 
the hooker bots and people are going to throw ads up and stuff, you know, but you can only do so much. Well, yeah, that's, and I don't discriminate pretty much. Well, for you, it's, you know, it's your page, your personal page is the radio, but me, I have a, I have a, yeah, you have a separate, yeah, I have a stage name versus, you know, the, the real person that you know and who actually has a job and, <laughs> you know, but, um, so yeah, I just, I don't add anybody I don't know on that page. Right. So, and, uh, you know, and I've had other people just random. I remember for a while a bunch of the blindos at the blind center were all trying to add me on there. I'm like, dude, I don't fucking know you. I'm not adding you. So then, then I would d- delete the friend request. Then they'd refriend request, refriend request me. <laughs> so I'm like, uh, what part of I don't want to be your friend do you not motherfucking get? So go fuck yourself. You know, if you <laughs> go go, I don't know, join a fraternity or something. You know, find a fraternity. Go to a meetup group or something. You know, don't don't right. you know. Don't be on here trying to meet friends or like those random ass chicks that are lonely that all of a sudden just send you a message. You don't like random ass lonely chicks? Not really, because it <laughs> makes them look desperate as fuck. And they'll send you a message, you know, hey, sweetie, you know, I'm tired of games. I want a real man. And I'm like, well, you know, first of all, what, what the fuck made you choose me? <laughs> <laughs> you know, and yes, that could have been a dig at myself. But at the same time, it's like, well, you know, what made you just, you know, what are you, surfing Facebook looking for random people? No, how the fuck did they do. How did I even come up? So I don't know how this. Maybe they thought you're sexy. Yeah, well, they can think all they want. <laughs> I got people that have lust for me. Well, yeah, I know you told me about that. <laughs> See, that's that's strange, too. I don't know what to make of that. I, I, I tend to think those are probably chicks that nobody else wants. Mm. You know? You never know. I mean, you know. I mean, not saying this, and you know, th- that you're not attractive and can't attract women, but well, I'm just, thanks. I'm just saying that these, are, <laughs> right. you know, these are probably women that if you saw them, you'd go, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, you never know, right? Yeah, it's kind of hard to really just gauge that shit. I mean, G Motors should get a Facebook page and really get on it. Well, he, he had may- one for a while. He may, uh, you know. May find uh, other people to hold hands with besides men. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, because you know he's listening. I know he's listening. No, we're gonna send me a text at some point, <laughs> talking shit. <laughs> yes, you're gonna do smack back. <laughs> of course. So uh, it'll be a matter of time. Yeah. Although now he's probably gonna be like, "Oh, they're expecting me to do it." So fuck it, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna text. <laughs> yeah, he'll be spiteful. Actually, I'm surprised he doesn't text you. That is true. He texted you. He texts me. Because he knows he's going to read it out. Although, well, that, and you don't always get right to your text. I noticed that. Mm. You kind of let him go for a little bit. It depends. But, uh, but yeah, I think it's because yours reads it out and everybody can hear oh, it. Oh, that's true. So it plays it and makes it yeah. kind of funny. So, but no, G Motors had one for a while. I can't remember why he got rid of it. I think uh, he said somebody, somebody was spamming him or something <laughs> like that. Uh, speaking of spamming, I've had a few friends lately get hacked. Right. And, like, one guy... Tagged me in a post about sunglasses. He was trying to, you know, and he kept doing it. Well, and I'm like, this one was today, but that other one was sunglasses. It was the chick, yeah. And I'm, I'm going to give her a chance. Yeah, because she could have been just spammed. She could have been hacked, yeah. That's why well, I didn't know that. But when the guy did it, I was like, oh, fuck you. I'm deleting your ass. <laughs> so I deleted him right away. And then somebody had pointed out, well, maybe he was hacked because I bitched about it on it Facebook. It has happened to mine before. And if people would have taken me off right away, I would have lost almost everybody. <laughs> You're right. Well, see, that's it. And they tag all your friends. You know, if your product's so goddamn good, why do you have to hack, hack into people's profiles just to sell it? marketing. Of course it is. Like, me and Jim, we got to make blood, blood, darly cash. Oh, oh, you know, I need four, because we need tickets for Selene, too. <laughs> so, you know, we, we're going to try to ass fuck you the most we can. So I know we're going to get in your fucking profile. We're going to hack it. We're going to sell it. We're going to, sp- you know, put it to all your friends. You know, those, what marketing major came up with that fucking, you know, uh, plan? Right. <laughs> oh, I got a great plan. Just hack into someone's Facebook profile and spam all their friends. It'll be great. <laughs> Tag them in all the posts. And, you know, like there's another friend of mine who I know wouldn't do. I, I just know this guy wouldn't do this shit. <laughs> so and he was tagging me in all this, uh, you know, um, like Starbucks coupons and shit. And I'm like, oh, okay, this is definitely not him. And I actually commented at one point. I said, did you get hacked? And I haven't heard back. But uh, I, and everything says the same thing. It says sharing is caring, you know. What well, is? 
If you're not sharing, you're not caring, my friend. Uh, well, you know, Jimby's just sharing, isn't he? <laughs> he shares because he cares. You know, he just cries tears of feces at night because <laughs> he's sad. He thinks that you should have, you know, you should be aware of the Why are you so down on all those poor people that are just trying to force their way and onto mm. your shit? And I know. I shouldn't. Buy I sh their stuff and force you to... Take it in. Bye, bye, bye. Sell, sell, sell. Take a whiff of my breath. It's the feces smell. <laughs> Chewing up lunch from a big juicy dump. He squats on my face and unloads his rectal. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> loads it from his rump. <laughs> so. The issues you have are probably well beyond psychiatry. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. We know that already. Nobody's going to be able to help me. You know that. <laughs> no, I just hate being tagged in bullshit. You know, like. And I like like you said, you know, somebody may have been hacked, but I'm seeing it happen to a lot of people on Facebook right. now. So, you know, you wonder, is it like, do you trust the profile? And like I said, on my Maxwell page, I don't, you know, a few people I don't really know, no, you know, they just right. added me for yeah. one reason or another. So I don't really have a rapport with them. Now, some people like the one guy I told you about the Starbucks thing. We do have a rapport. We we have talked. I've commented on his shit. He's so you kind of just knew from him. I just know the kind of person he is. He would not do that kind of shit. So I, I don't know if he hasn't been on in a few days or, or two when their shit gets hacked. Because he used to be on all the time posting. All right. So I wonder, like, if something, your, your thing gets hacked, you know, are you locked out of it? So you, um, I don't know. I think they, they, they investigated, I think. Oh, maybe so. So your account is locked? Locked until, yeah. I think they, they investigate it and take out whoever did it or whatever. Wow, man. Yeah, it just sucks because you're, you know, you're like seeing that they tagged you in all kinds of shit and they're doing this and they're doing and you're just like, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing? <laughs> so, yeah, I've had a few people like that. One person, like I said, I deleted them. Another girl did it tonight from what you told me and tagged me in this shit. Yeah, I saw your name mentioned there. Mm, great. So that means I got to go in now. I'm glad I have the option, though, of, you know, removing it from my timeline. Yeah, it's cool you can do that, right? Yeah, because there are, on my personal page, shit just goes up. You know, but on my Maxwell page, I definitely let you know, hey, I'm not just promoting your shit. You know, and that's kind of the reason I've done it, because I've gone on there before, and right. people have posted their music on my timeline. They want me to be their billboard. You know, I had one guy a few weeks ago, actually, he was friends with um, First Street E. Mm -hmm. who posted on my fucking Stim Radio page. I'm like, hey, 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 hey. No, 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 no. Don't be doing that. Yeah, and I, I told him, I said, I'll give you a pass this time, but normally I don't let people do that. And he was like, well, thanks for understanding. So at least he was cool about it. Right. But some people get really angry and indignant and, you know, <laughs> you hating, dog. You hating on my pimping, dog. You ain't, you're just trying not to see me rise, nigga. Trying to come up in this bitch. What the go? Nickel. Nickel. <laughs> You try. You ain't trying to see me rise in this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Trying to come up in this bitch, nigga. Niggas like you push me down the motherfucking ladder, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Wow. Yeah. Do yeah. that again for me one more time. Again? <laughs> yeah. All right. We'll do more. All right. Yeah, dog. You know what I'm saying? I'm up on my Facebook. I'm just trying to make my ends, nigga. Nigga trying to get my shit, nigga. Just like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got their shit for me, nigga. So now I'm on there. I'm trying to post this shit on your motherfucking wall. And you tell me, don't post this shit on my wall. I ain't your motherfucking billboard, nigga. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, they do that. Fuck you. Fuck you. It's like really deep. Yeah. <laughs> and they pronounce it, yo, fuck you. They bring the, the ending right up. <laughs> it reminds me of this guy. <laughs> I don't know why I just remembered this. Um, when I was doing music, I was uh, there was a store out here called Larry Sight and Sound. Mm -hmm. And I used to put my stuff in there on consignment. And when I brought in my new project at one point, you know, she was putting it out and putting, getting ready to put it on the shelves and everything. And right. this one dude's in there and he's looking at it. He's with his gang buddies and shit. It was kind of a, a you know, sort of right. a fucked up neighborhood, you know. So he's looking at it, his his gang homies are looking and he's like, what y'all, uh, what is this shit? And I was like, oh, this is my shit, dude. I, I rap. <laughs> he was like, kind of picked it up, slaps it down. I ain't never heard this shit before, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and just, just the hostility in it. I was like, fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> okay. Uh, guess you won't be employed anytime. Yes, no. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's just like, god damn, man. It's kind of funny, too, because, you know, like in, in a right. public situation, they're very quick to do things like that. Whereas opposed to in a computer, 
internet situation. Yep. You know, everything. You know, I've actually cussed some of these so-called G's out a few times. You know, and now all of a sudden, it's, hey, dog, I didn't mean no disrespect, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's cool, dog. You know, I won't do it again. <laughs> well, that's that one guy I had on here. Um, fuck was his name? Oh, shit. God damn it. I'm drawing a blank now. <laughs> Um, anyway, I had him on, it was like last year sometime and, uh, I know it if I saw it, but anyway, he, uh, <laughs> that's what he did. He <laughs> inboxed me. He wasn't even on my friends list and he was like, check out my new single, blah, 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 blah. So I blast him. I was like, dude, you're not even on my fucking friends list. Fuck you. <laughs> and he's like, sorry, man. I didn't mean no disrespect. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, okay, dude, you know what? The fact that you got, you know, the, the, you apologized and everything, you know. Give him the pass. Yeah, I'll check you out. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I'm a fucker. What can I say? You're a mother fucker. No. No. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> If you're a fan of hip hop and R&B, join me, the Bruh Bruh Ren, for a full non-stop hour of back-to-back -back slappers. Uh, back-to-back slappers. Where the playlist spans from genres like R&B soul. R&B soul. Pacific Standard Time. And Saturday at midnight Eastern Standard Time. Only on the Tough Love Show on J and J dot FM. We think it's the uh banning of we are anonymous. And if you don't know, you better ask somebody. My boy Maxwell Silver Hammer and my bottom bitch jerk man will set you straight with some good all true shit and none of the shit that irks me. Hey Maxie baby, I still got them videos. You fill my cereal port perfectly. Bitch. Hey, hey. Most people don't plan to fail, but a lot of people fail to plan. And it really don't have to be like that. What you know about an IRA or a tax deferred 401k? What you gotta pay to the government? Ever heard of a tax exempt retirement? That's info most folks don't know. What you gonna do if you live too long? What you gonna do if you die too soon? Can your spouse afford the house? Will your family go bankrupt if you get sick? You got a plan in place to cover medical debt? I'm not talking about Advil. I'm speaking on long term ill. You ever seen a bill? From that home where Big Mama went to live, it's like seventy-three thousand dollars a year. How you gonna pay for that? 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 You work hard every day, but you really don't like it. You're looking at a retirement crisis. Got a good education, got a good job, got the age and the time, but still got robbed in 2008 when the market crashed. Wanna tell your boss to kiss your bus pass, but you can't cause you upside down and your savings on life support right now. Said you can't cause you upside down and your savings on life support right now. So you wake up in the morning and you put on your game face. Then you run out the house late, headed to the same place. On the bus like I'm stuck, 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 stuck. In your core like I'm stuck, 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 stuck. What you need is a solution. More income and less confusion. What you gonna do? Where you gonna go? Who you gonna talk to to get the info? And get money. You can talk to me. You can talk to me. Got what you need, so you can join the team. 
Build yourself and build your wealth by sharing what you learn with somebody else. Each one, teach one how money works. Stay compliant so nobody gets hurt. Move like a union, be ambitious. We all independent, follow the system. Move like a union, be ambitious. We all independent, follow the system. Hey, this is Travis. This song was recorded to get your attention. I have some powerful financial information that you should hear. The things that you need to put in place for a solid financial foundation in case you live too long, die too soon, if you become disabled or need to go into a home, or if you simply need access to a tax-free supplemental retirement or emergency fund, we have the information to put these proper plans in place in case any of these things happen. Contact me at my email. That's T. K-E-E-T-O-N-W-F-G at gmail.com. That's T-K-E-E-T-O-N-W-F-G at gmail.com. Let's set up an appointment, sit down at the kitchen table or coffee shop somewhere. I'll show you the information. If you have the need and the means, let's get it done. Or... If you're looking for a business with a great compensation plan and a proven system, you should join the team. I know this business isn't for everyone, but it's one of those rare situations where if we all follow the system, it can be a win for all involved. The companies win, the clients win, or the families win, the brokers win. We're entrepreneurs, we're our own bosses, Everyone is a broker. We can make good money and travel around the world on the company's dime. Let's at least try to do it. At last, the wait's finally over. Be Sick returns from a long hiatus with a brand new album entitled Mr. Zero Tolerance. Available for digital download only. Be Sick's no punches pulled approach on the mic gives listeners what they want as well as gives the rap game a well-deserved kick in the ass with such hard-hitting gems as the title track, Mr. Zero Tolerance. Mr. Zero fucking tolerance, you fake that you're fun. My tongue's replacing the gun. My toleration is none. Fucking buster and a bitch. I'm or the laid-back, fun-filled street I'm anthem entitled Change of Pace featuring ghosts. This is something to bust as a gift to the haters. So turn it up loud just to piss off your neighbors. And if you out rolling, you be getting a ticket. And if you straight to the guts, bro, blind to the facts. Blind to the facts that your mind's in a trap. Blind to the facts that with time we adapt. Blind to the facts of what you don't understand. Blind to the facts by the media scans. Blind to the facts of what you read in a book. Blind to the facts of you Download your copy today of Mr. Zero Tolerance from www.cdbaby.com or go to www.cdbaby.com slash cd slash b62. Download your copy today. Keep the realness in the rap game. What up, though? It's the Undeniable JT Money, a.k.a. the Bitch Eyes, and you tuned in to STEM Radio with Maxwell Silverhammer and GJ the Jerk Man. Heavy that. And guess what? They hate hoes all much as much as I do. So don't sleep on these cats. And speaking of sleeping, don't forget to check out my new single, Hustling, from my new project, Morning Wood. It's going down heavy, baby. And speaking of being out, I'm out like a busted traffic, like you already know. Get him, Jay! We think this is the uh, banning of We are anonymous. And if you don't know, you better ask somebody. My boy Maxwell Silverhammer and my bottom bitch jerk man will set you straight with some good all true shit and none of the shit that irks me. Hey Maxie baby, I still got them videos. You fill my cereal port perfectly. Bitch. Back to the Stim Radio Show, and the guy behind the mic still blows bubbles in his milk when he drinks it through his straw. Maxwell Silverhammer. White nigga, fuck you, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> God, you know what? That's kind of my way of sort of making fun of. I, I just don't like the hip hop culture anymore, man. <laughs> you know, there was a time I thought it was cool, and but people Getting didn't. To you now, people didn't behave that way, though. You know what I'm saying? Back then, so much changed. That's what I'm saying. Years. It was just a different mentality, man. Yeah. People had, you know, there was. 
pride going into what you were doing. You didn't just slap shit together and go, hey, dog, check out my new shit, nigga. Go to my motherfucking SoundCloud. I'm going to tag everybody on my Facebook, nigga. Everybody going to listen to that shit. And if they don't, they hate them. Fuck well, you. This tells you the times are changing. McDonald's is closing a lot of their McDonald's down. They are? Yep. They're starting no out with 350 stores. Damn. Close? They said their profits are have dropped considerably over the last couple years, and they're starting a closure of McDonald's stores. Whoa. Yeah. That you never thought, man. I put it up on my Facebook if you want to go read it later. I'm Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, McDonald's, huh? McDonald's of all things. Yeah. They're feeling the crunch. Yes, they are. Wow. Man, that's um, it's kind of scary, actually. <laughs> well, who's yeah. taking them all? I mean... Who's really up? Starbucks seems to be fucking kicking ass. They're buying more shit and doing more. You well, know. There for a while, they went through a bad spell, too. Remember, they had one in every fucking corner. No, literally one across. Oh, sorry. Sometimes right. you go down the street and you see one on one side of the street and one on the other side of the yeah, street. I know. You could, there were like 7-Elevens out here. You yeah. Just, you know, Starbucks was all over the place. But, uh, yeah, McDonald's is taking the dive. McDonald's of all places. wonder why. Well, the economy's bad. Their food is is not as good as it once was. To be totally honest with you, yeah. You know, their their portions went down. It's just they changed a lot of shit, and they didn't keep up with the times. They skimped and went into a lot of GMO crappy food. It tasted didn't taste as good. Man, wow, that's uh. So they're taking it in the Aceroni now. I just never thought McDonald's. Yeah. You know, I could see if it was like Wendy's or, you know. Carl's Jr. or something that's, you know, kind of big, but right. not really huge, you know, um, <laughs> even Burger King, you know, but McDonald's, I mean, they were like the fuck. They're the godfathers of fast food, in my right. opinion. You know, I mean, McDonald's has been shit. I mean, that's the first fast food place I've ever eaten. Right. God damn. I mean, that, that's wow. That's crazy. <laughs> Maybe they should start selling yep. pizza again, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, but, um, Anyway, where the fuck was I going with that? I'm talking about the, the um, oh, the hip-hop culture and just how shit's different and, <laughs> you know, and how people are. Well, now it's all about, you know, being in the club and doing, you know, and it's just like, fuck all. And, and it, let, let me just tell you, I hate fucking clubs. <laughs> hate motherfucking <laughs> nightclubs. You know, when I was younger, you know, about, you know, 13 or 14 or whatever, I just thought it would be so cool, man. Right. I can't wait to turn 21 so I can go to nightclubs and drink <laughs> and dance and hang out with girls and all this kind of shit like that. Then I got older and turned 21 and actually went to a club, and I hated that shit because it's fucking noisy, you know. And you know me. I'm the type of person that I'm, I'll be honest, one of my weirdisms right. is one of my many weirdisms is I don't feel comfortable if I'm not talking, especially if I'm in a public setting. I'm like, well, wait a minute, something's wrong. I don't feel right. If I'm not conversing with somebody around me, then I don't feel right. <laughs> There's something <laughs> up. But, of course, in a club, you can't really converse. So when you do say something to somebody, they look at you like you're crazy. And you're like, yeah, man, you know, uh, and you're trying to say you're screaming it at them, of course. And they're like, what? And you're like, oh. Fuck, they can't hear me either. <laughs> so it's just a really fucked up. And, and like I said, when you don't see, you know, it's noisy and you're pretty much in a vacuum. All right. <laughs> so all you can do is just zone the fuck out, you know, maybe drink and just be like, oh, yeah, man. Just get into your own drunken, stupid thoughts. Yeah, and a lot shit. of people do that. That's probably why a lot of people do. But then that's the thing, too. Alcohol is so fucking expensive at those places. You know, you're spending five bucks for a goddamn beer. Because they know you're out there to drink your worries away. Fuck all that. Not at a club, I wouldn't be. <laughs> you're out there to, you know, clubs have changed so much. I mean, from when I was younger and I worked them to now. Yeah. I yeah. mean, DJs are getting paid billions and millions and millions of trillions of dollars a year and shit when I did it. I mean, you made kind of decent money, depends. But um, for the most part, you really didn't. Well, these DJs out here, it's ridiculous mm -hmm. for hooking up a laptop and playing fucking YouTube videos all yeah. night. You know what I'm saying? That's all they do. Or they go to, you know, someone's Reverb Nation page and play shit or something. Yeah. I, you know, I don't know what, what all goes. They take a song and they mix it. They loop it and do all kinds of shit. And 
Yeah, the, you know, no technique anymore, man. You know, not like somebody's behind a turntable and scratching yeah. a little bit. And... It's all computerized, and they just take it and they most of that stuff is already preloaded and just they just push a button and let it run. Pretty much. Yeah. Or they'll get like the remix version, so it's already been done in a studio. Yeah. yeah. So you know, they really don't have to do shit but get drunk. So, you know, the DJ is smashed by the end of the fucking thing. Yeah. And they're getting paid millions of fucking dollars. Yeah. I mean, they become huge stars now. Oh, man. That's just. <laughs> I remember I worked at a place called Geo's. I made 20 bucks a night. Damn. <laughs> yeah. And you thought that was the shit, huh? Yeah. And I, well, because I first started out, they gave me a chance to do it. And 20 bucks, hell, it was. And I got free beer. <laughs> 20 bucks and all the beer you can yeah, drink. Yeah. So it's like, you know, back then it was like, wow, I can hit McDonald's. And I got free beer, you know, or, or take a girl or whatever, you know. Yeah. So now you got you got money and you got beer. Yeah. You got chicks. So I mean, pretty much for a twenty-something-year-old kid, that was pretty rocking. Yeah. You know, but uh, now these guys, yeah, they make ridiculous amounts, especially out here. <laughs> you know, I, but yeah, I just ugh, the club scene. That shit just makes me sick. I'm just like, I. It's fake, you know, and everybody thinks they have to outdo each other. Well, and, that is true. You know, everybody's like all dressed to the nines. And, and then, of course, there's certain shit you can't even wear. I mean, there's been, yeah, some of the, they have total dress codes. Yeah. I mean, it's the ones I've been to have been pretty, pretty cool people. I mean, you know, it's uh, for the most part. I mean, most of them, sure, I mean, sure. people you don't know, you know, I see a lot of fakery going on. But, you know, the ones that invite me in, they're pretty cool. They take care of me. They're, well, you know, those people are cool, yeah. obviously. But I'm just saying the others for are around For the most part, you? yeah, it's, it's, it's a big gluttonous of fakeness. Yeah, well, and you know, I think too that's kind of what stopped you from doing it originally, is you probably were just going, going. Yeah, I not, just got tired of it. Yeah, you're like, I'm not getting shows out of this. You know, I'm just mm -hmm. going, and and somebody's, you know, but it's kind of a catch twenty two. You kind of have to go, but then you know, you're like, well, it's my time and energy. Yeah, and you can you can avoid everything. I mean, you got to go out and be seen and talk to people. They got to know who you are and get to know you. But right. But like I said, at the same time, it's um, what are you gonna just, do? Yeah. <laughs> Catch no, 22, like you said. Yeah. It's just a, a big scene of fakery, really. And, you know, everybody's kind of, you know, like I said, they're trying to outdo each other or, you right. know, they're just acting like idiots. And it's just, it's it's a crowd that uh, I don't even know what the fuck. <laughs> I mean, they're people you don't normally see, I don't think, mm -hmm. you know, although, you know, maybe there are some everyday people that go in there. I don't know. But it just seems like these are, you know, people that try to portray that well, they it's it's changed so much i mean with the with the facebook's all the messaging and stuff that goes on and and of course all the silicone now that you can buy and everybody's got botox everybody's got you see a lot of fakeness and they're so self-absorbed at most of these places well that's it and it's like are all you motherfuckers rock stars yeah <laughs> you know is there like this group of rock stars i don't know about and all of you were in here celebrating and doing your thing. and <laughs> They this, left your ass out. You were blind. Well, yeah, well, and a bunch of other people apparently too. <laughs> but you go in there and you're just like, who are these motherfuckers? What are they even doing? So, and you're just like, okay. I mean, are these like, I don't know, just like a strange, they're like alien to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you go in and, and uh, you know, nobody talks to you or if you try to talk to somebody, you know, it's just like. <laughs> just fake <laughs> and i found myself i remember the one time i went to the club you know we did that it was a god this is in the 90s and we're just all kind of standing around i'm like right. the fuck's the point of this shit we're standing around paying for high price beer we're not talking to anybody i mean this isn't too fun to me <laughs> <laughs> you know i'm just saying you know i don't mind a bar occasionally if i go with a buddy because you can at least talk and bullshit yeah you know, um, and even at the karaoke stuff, we get up and we do our shit and yeah. it's fun. But uh, as far as a club, man, the club is just a big place. It's kind of scary, kind of strange. Mm -hmm. And the people there are a little weird and like they came from fucking, you know, Richville or something. <laughs> and uh, see, that's what I'm saying. Are the, all those people rich or are they just what the fuck's their no, name? No, I just think it's, you know, a lot of them take their money to spend it on that. So that's where their money goes. To the club. Yeah. Fuck that. I mean, come on. What's his name's got that song out? I ain't got no money to pay my bills, but I got enough to go hit up to the club. Yeah, that's the Pitbull. priority now. Yeah. Let's go hit the club. You know, that's... that's Take some money away from the bills to hit the club. Yeah, that's good. Don't pay your <laughs> bills, and then fucking go to the club and be an irresponsible fuck-up. And, uh, you know, hey, what the hell? You get evicted. You'd be, you'd be homeless, but hey, at least you Doesn't go matter. to the club. Doesn't matter. You go, go to the club. I'm homeless at the club. 
Well, I wonder if they'd accept you if you're homeless. Probably not. <laughs> no. They really round it up. They really do. They. It's like, are, are all you motherfuckers rich? Are they just, you know, mm. like, I don't know. Just it doesn't feel right, to me, man. <laughs> There's something, some vibe I just don't like in there. <laughs> you know, <clears throat> and you just you don't feel like you fit in. Let's put yeah. it that way. So, well, some of it you don't. I mean, for me, for you, you got to go because it's your thing. Yeah. You know, but in my case. I don't fucking have to. <laughs> Thank God. So, but, um, or here's another one I don't like is strip clubs. Not, I fucking, I'm not into strip clubs. Cause I, I, never, get, I never cared for strip clubs. No, I mean, those women don't want you, you know, unless you're paying them. And even then they just want your money. I mean, they're not, they're, it's not like they're into you. No. Like, ooh, dude, she gave me a lap dance. Well, she's not into you, dude. She wants your money. Yeah. And you can't touch anything. You know, I remember I went one time with some friends and I'm like, this shit sucks. And the guy realized, oh, fuck, yeah, I guess it would. <laughs> but you should know what you're there for. I mean, you know, you can't come down on the strippers. They, they're there doing their job. Oh, You no. know, so, and these guys that go out expecting to find those, love, you know, those are the you're dummies. dumbass. Yeah, those are the idiots that I blame for that. Yeah, you know? I mean. No, no, I just don't, strip clubs are not my scene. No, not mine either, trust me. And plus, you know, not being able to see. You yeah, know, what good's it doing you? It's yeah, I've got no business, you know. Right. Uh, what are you gonna do? Fucking hang out and say, okay, what's she? What, is her boob bouncing now? <laughs> yeah, and so you know, well, great. And I'm not even into boobs. Right. My feet, you know. So and there's other things that turn me on. But uh, when when I went with my friends, they realized, oh shit, yeah, that's you. I could see why you probably wouldn't be in it. So the guy went and he told the DJ it was my birthday, even though it wasn't. <laughs> and he got these chicks to like do a lap dance for me on stage. And but the thing was, I had to sit on my hands. Yep. And I'm like, what fuck kind of shit is that? So because you're not allowed to touch. Well, that's really lame. That's how I see. <laughs> Which is kind of strange because, um, when you see women go out and go to strip clubs, they're always grabbing dick and ass and. You know they're right up on the guys, but in a guys' club, you can't you can't get close to the women. Hmm. Yeah, it's well, totally different for for the opposite. Yeah, well, I guess because they're afraid the guys are gonna you know rape them, rape them, do some women. Crazy you know, shit. women just fucking manhandle their junk and all kinds of shit, yeah, pulling on your dick. And yeah, they do. They go nuts, sticking their fingers in your ass and all kinds <laughs> of wild shit. That may be a fantasy of yours, but I don't. <laughs> Have a chick stick her finger in my ass. Yeah. Have you ever had that? Yeah, yeah. Well, but you don't want to see. I don't want it going all the way up my ass. I just wanted to play. just to penetrate the beginning part. Yeah, I just wanted to play. You know, just... tickle, tickle. Yeah, exactly. A little tickle. <laughs> That's it. Just tickle around the taint and around the little inner, you know, the uh, outer ass area, and <laughs> and then leave go. it alone. Yeah, just play around maybe, but no, no jamming fingers in my ass <laughs> <laughs> like it's a prostate exam or something. <laughs> you know. So, uh, but I'm not in the strip club thing. I'm not in the club. Nah, you know, th mind. those things just don't, don't do it for me, man. So, and, uh, like I said, I only went, you know, a handful of times, you know, a few times Mac Metro and I used to go to go, you know, watch shows, you know, right. like one time Ice-T was performing. So we went and saw him and we've gone to see other rappers perform at, at clubs and stuff. But <laughs> after a while, that was getting old for me. I'm like, oh, man. You know, Mac Metro, he doesn't mind that shit. I, for me, right. I was like, yeah, I'm cool, man. I don't need to. These people just, nobody here that, you know, <laughs> I really want to be around. Right, so it doesn't do it for you. Yeah, so what's what's the reason to be there? So, yeah. And, I mean, but like I said, bars are cool if you just want to go out and have a few drinks. But, see, with me, with the... the bars the weirdos always fucking come to me you know that old drunk guy who's lonely <laughs> hey buddy well because they think you're blind so automatically nobody wants to talk to you so they're your, you're yeah, their pal nobody wants to talk to them either so they're like <laughs> hey buddy we're in this together check it out buddy buddy hey listen you know uh, you can you you don't see but you really do see. You know what I'm saying, man? You know how deep that is, man? <laughs> and I, they got to tell you how deep they're being. Yeah, oh, yeah. It's always got to be that. Yeah, you can't. You couldn't recognize it on your own if they actually were truly being deep. <laughs> and it's funny because a lot of them are ex-military. Right. So they start telling you shit like, okay. Like I had one guy. He was like, I'm going to give you a scenario. You tell me what you would do. Now you're in the <laughs> helicopter and you're about to jump out. And there's bogeys below you. And you're in a jungle. What do you do? And you have your machine gun. And, you, and he's giving me this whole thing. And I'm like, dude, I, I wouldn't know what the first fucking thing to do. He's like, oh, come on, buddy. It's, you got to know. It's survival. And you're just like, um, 
<laughs> Maybe you had to live like that, but unfortunately, I don't. <laughs> So, yeah, you always get – or I had one guy wanted to trade – I used to wear sunglasses back in the right. day. I had this guy that wanted to trade sunglasses with me. And he was like, hey, buddy, those are cool. And these were cheap fucking I, – they were like $4 sunglasses. Right. And he's like, hey, I'll trade you my sunglasses, man. They're prescription sunglasses. They're like 50 bucks." And I'm like, <laughs> I'd be ripping you off, man. Mine are like 4 bucks. I got them at Walmart. And he's like – Oh, no, but I really like them, man. Come on, man. Let me have them. I'm going, um, no. And I had to, like, argue with this guy to l- tell him to fucking back off and leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's um takes all kinds. But, yeah, I always attract the weirdo fucking usually drunk guy. Yeah, well, you are kind of weird, so. Well, you know, I don't want to tell you this, but yeah, you're strange. Well, I think, and, and I'm, I'm sure some of that is like some of those guys may have like a homosexual tendency. No, I I think that's mostly what you said and what we talked about. It's just simply they think that because you're there, they're drunk. Obviously, if they're really out of it, not too many other people are talking to them, so they think that because you're sitting there and no one's gonna talk to you because you're blind, you know, you're just the instant hey, pally wally. Yeah, and you're just like, oh fuck, leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> and it doesn't matter. I could go. You know, I've even gone with friends and still gotten the drunk guy that wants to be my buddy. Right? I'm like, damn. But I do think there are some lonely guys that kind of think like, huh, I'm looking to fuck something. <laughs> you know, I could fuck this blind guy. <laughs> he won't know any different. It's the end of the night, maybe. Ah, uh, what the fuck? I'll get him really drunk and ask him if he'd like to come back and stay at my place. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do a little Teddy Pendergrass. <laughs> Come on and roll with me. Come on back to my place. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, we, that that always, for a while, I noticed when I went to bars, that's who, who always, like I said, it was an, always an older guy. Mm-hmm. You know, I think, you know, once in a while it'll be a chick. But mostly, guys. yeah, it's always guys. Mostly guys. You know, There's never too many women that are actually looking to do that. No. And actually, well, there was one black. Unless they're really ugly and horny. Yeah, well, there was one black chick one time that was doing that, you know. And I think I got her number. I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, I didn't call her. But, yeah, it's the bar scene, the club scene. Right. I'd rather just stay at home, get on Facebook, talk shit, <laughs> get drunk. <laughs> and then next day, wake up and go, what the fuck did I do? <laughs> Let me see what I did. And then go on and be like, okay, good. Nobody cussed me out. I'm cool. <laughs> so, but and as you get older too, you just, you don't have the appetite for that shit right. anymore. You know, you're just not into doing out in the town, man. But although having said that, I, you know, when people invite me to stuff, parties and things, you right. know, I try to go, but yeah, just, you don't want to be a, a recluse. No. And like we were saying, I mean, getting out, going to some shit, you know, does get you. So, you know, once in, a while, once in a while, it's just nice to do it, you know? Yeah, you should. It doesn't should. always have to be, you know. It doesn't have to be an every weekend thing, right. but, you know, every once in a while, it's a nice change of pace. Yeah, and it's always, you know, it doesn't always mean that just because you're going out, you have to benefit from it, too. Sometimes it's just good to get out. Yeah, just the fact that you're not sitting right. at home, you know, home and work and going through your same fucked up routine all yeah. the time. So, that way you, um, yeah, you do what you do. <laughs> <laughs> so... But uh, now there's dating sites. Yay. I don't, and I stay away from those too. Yeah, you really haven't been on them, have you? Nah, really. I mean, I've been on Meet Me. Oh, mm-hmm. I did have a chick add me on Meet Me. And uh, I sent her a message and I was just like, hey, what's up? You know, or something. Mm-hmm. Then I'm looking through her pro- profile. She's 48 years old. And here's some of the shit she's posting. She said, oh, um, what'd she say? Oh, I'm chilling with my fam. And I'm like, at 48, you're chilling with your fam. And she had a few other things. She writes like a fucking 15 year old. And I'm like, so she was texting, she was writing me. And, mm-hmm. you know, I said, yeah, you know, you get weird people on these sites. Actually, you know what it was? Because, <laughs> no, she messaged me first. That's right. And she was like, how are you? And I was like, well, I just got back from the doctor and I found out I have a growth on my scrotum. <laughs> wow. And she writes back, she goes, I'm sorry to hear that. 
And I said, oh, okay, it's a real person. And I wrote back, LOL. I said, sorry, I get a lot of hooker bots on here, so to get a real person, right. I figured I'd test you out and say something really fucked up and then see what your reaction was. <laughs> Being that you had a human reaction, you must be human. Human, real and she person. Was like, she was like, oh, yeah, I understand what you're saying. I get some weird people on here, too. And then, you know, so we're kind of talking back and forth for a while. Right. And she's like, well, if you want to text, let me know. And I was kind of like, mm, yeah. <laughs> no, hood rat, you go chill with the fam. <laughs> wow, hood rat, huh? Well, I didn't even said that to her, but I just, you know, That's the what way, you were thinking. But the way you write, you right. know, you write like a wigger, <laughs> which, you know, I don't understand that either. It's like, well, well, why I have to go that direction? Well, why do you have to be a wigger at that age? I don't know. People, it, I don't know. People do it. You know, it's like, okay, they, I, under, I understand. They think, it's, they think it's the way to get in to talk to people. They, nobody's going to come in and talk to them unless they're talking that way. I mean, I understand, you know, people call me a wigger. Because I like hip hop, or you are, aren't you? What it, well, well, no, <laughs> you are a wigger. I'm a wigger because yeah. I like hip hop. That's right. You have no, you were categorized. You remember group think? You oh, yeah. were automatically put That's in right. there. That's right. I got to be a wigger then. Okay, so then so, there you go. So, but then again, you know, some of these people, I just can't turn it off. That's all they do. You know, the, everything is wigger this, and they just got to be a G 24 hours a day. And yeah. you're just like, fuck, man, come on. How many you, times have we talked about sometimes things just go, you know, one extreme or the other? Yeah. You can't get the the medium in between where people could just be themselves. Oh no, of course not. Just you, that would that would got to got to have that and got to be labeled with something if you're going to live. Yeah, I got to be a G or I got to be a this. And it's like can't you just be can't you? Can't just be you. No. Not comfortable being yourself? No. But I guess not. But at that point, like I said at that age, I can understand if you're <laughs> in your teens or 20s, you right. know, you're still trying to gain your identity. But at 48, you should have already gain some form of identity <laughs> yeah. maybe they're you know maybe they thought they had it lost it and now thinks that's what they got to do to regain it oh you know what and that's yeah that's probably what's going on yeah you're right because they're out into the world and maybe they don't have somebody anymore or something like that so they think the only way to get this going is to start acting like you know trying to fit in or whatever it is that to they, me they think that, they're trying to do that's just it's annoying you know to watch that shit you know what else is annoying that we have to go to break that's right. Yeah, bitches. <laughs> we'll be right back. You're a fan of hip-hop and R&B. Join me, the Bruh Bruh Ren, for a full non-stop hour of back-to-back -back slappers. Uh, back-to-back slappers. Where the playlist spans from genres like R&B, soul. R&B, soul. night at nine o'clock pacific standard time and saturday at midnight eastern standard time only on the tough love show on j and j dot fm we think it's the uh banning of we speech. are First, anonymous and if you don't know you better ask somebody my boy maxwell silver hammer and my bottom bitch jerk man will set you straight with some good all true shit and none of that shit that irks me Hey, Maxie, baby, I still got them videos. You fill my cereal port perfectly. Bitch. Hey, hey, most people don't plan to fail, but a lot of people fail to plan, and it really don't have to be like that. 
what you know about an IRA or a tax deferred 401k, what you gotta pay to the government, ever heard of a tax exempt retirement, that's info most folks don't know, what you gonna do if you live too long, what you gonna do if you die too soon, can your spouse afford the house, will your family go bankrupt if you get sick, you got a plan in place to cover medical debt, I'm not talking about Advil, I'm speaking on long term ill, you ever seen a bill from that home where big mama went to live, it's like $73,000 a year, how you gonna pay for that, how you gonna pay for that, how you gonna pay for that, how you gonna pay for that? You work hard every day, but you really don't like it. You're looking at a retirement crisis. Got a good education, got a good job, got the age and the time, but still got robbed in 2008 when the market crashed. Wanna tell your boss to kiss your bus pass, but you can't cause you upside down and your savings on life support right now. Said you can't cause you upside down and your savings on life support right now. So you wake up in the morning and you put on your game face. Then you run out the house late, headed to the same place On the bus like I'm stuck, 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 stuck In your car like I'm stuck, 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 stuck What you need is a solution More income and less confusion What you gonna do, where you gonna go Who you gonna talk to to get the info And get money you can talk to me, you can talk to me, you can talk to me. We got what you need, and you can join the team. Build yourself and build your wealth by sharing what you learn with somebody else. Each one, teach one how money works. Stay compliant so nobody gets hurt. Move like a union, be ambitious. We all independent, follow the system. Move like a union, be ambitious. We all independent, follow the system. Hey, this is Travis. This song was recorded to get your attention. I have some powerful financial information that you should hear. The things that you need to put in place for a solid financial foundation in case you live too long, die too soon, if you become disabled or need to go into a home, or if you simply need access to a tax-free supplemental retirement or emergency fund, we have the information to put these proper plans in place in case any of these things happen. Contact me at my email. That's T. K-E-E-T-O-N-W-F-G at gmail.com. That's T-K-E-E-T-O-N-W-F-G at gmail.com. Let's set up an appointment, sit down at the kitchen table or coffee shop somewhere. I'll show you the information. If you have the need and the means, let's get it done. Or... If you're looking for a business with a great compensation plan and a proven system, you should join the team. I know this business isn't for everyone, but it's one of those rare situations where if we all follow the system, it can be a win for all involved. The companies win, the clients win, or the families win, the brokers win. We're entrepreneurs, we're our own bosses, everyone is a broker, we can make good money and travel around the world on the company's dime. Let's at least try to do it. At last, the wait's finally over. Be Sick returns from a long hiatus with a brand new album entitled Mr. Zero Tolerance. Available for digital download only. Be Sick's no punches pulled approach on the mic gives listeners what they want as well as gives the rap game a well-deserved kick in the ass with such hard-hitting gems as the title track, Mr. Zero Tolerance. Mr. Zero fucking tolerance, you fix at your butt. My touch replacing the gut. My toleration is nuts. Fucking buster and I'm bitch. I'm or the laid-back, fun-filled street I'm anthem entitled Change of Pace featuring Ghost. This is something to buck as a gift to the haters. So turn it up loud just to piss off your neighbors. And if you out rolling, you be getting a ticket. And if you straight to the guts, bar, blind to the facts. Blind to the facts, set your mind to the trap. Blind to the facts that with time we adapt. Blind to the facts of what you don't understand. Blind to the facts by the media scans. Blind to the facts of what you read in the book. Blind to the facts. If you Download your, your copy book. today of Mr. Zero Blind Tolerance from www.cdbaby.com or go to www.cdbaby.com slash cd slash b62. Download your copy today. Keep the realness in the rap game. Yeah. 
What up, though? It's the Undeniable JT Money, a.k.a. the Bitch Eyeser. And you tuned in to STEM Radio with Maxwell Silverhammer and GJ the Jerk Man. Heavy that. And guess what? They hate hoes all much as much as I do. So don't sleep on these cats. And speaking of sleeping, don't forget to check out my new single, Hustling, from my new project, Morning Wood. It's going down heavy, baby. And speaking of being out, I'm out like a busted traffic, like you already know. Get him, Jay! We think it's the banning of speech. We are anonymous. And if you don't know, you better ask somebody. My boy Maxwell Silverhammer and my bottom bitch jerk man will set you straight with some good all true shit and none of the shit that irks me. Hey, Maxie baby, I still got them videos. You fill my cereal port perfectly. Bitch. Back to the STEM Radio Show, where the guy behind the mic can't wait to get home and do a little knuckle shuffle, Maxwell Silverhammer. Now, that's probably the truest thing you said all night. <laughs> <laughs> Go home and get my jackums on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and, and well, this morning, actually the last two mornings I've had to get up early. Right. Um, yesterday, they gave me a 652 to get me there by 830, that's which is totally crazy. fucking ridiculous. Yeah, it's stupid. It's the way they plan these dumb fucking man who does their planning for him at times damn uh idiots because <laughs> yeah no when, when she was like well i got a 652 i'm like to get me there by 8 30 i'm like do you have anything any later right and she's like no that's it and i'm like 652 she's like oh that or i'll be an 815 i'm like okay well that's gonna be pushing it so <laughs> you know how the fuck did <laughs> 650 we'll give you a 4 a.m to get you there by 10 o'clock <laughs> yeah, <you>, thanks <laughs> right so that was that um, then, then this morning, uh, Dave came to spray, you know, my bug guy. So, so you have bugs? No, he just sprays. Just he to, still keeps spraying? Yeah. Well, just random, you know, like you just have somebody come in as a pest control, doing pest control hmm. just for roaches. And, oh, okay. That and, kind of, all right. I see what you're saying. I thought you meant for like the bugs, like he pre-sprays. No, he just, he, he sprays the shit that pretty much would kill anything. <laughs> how does he, uh, how, how often does he come by and do that? Oh, just once a month. Oh. It's it's just routine pest control, which you should have done. Yeah. You know, and, um, you know, I just have them come, you know, because I'm thinking, you know, my bug problem wouldn't have gotten so out of control right. had I had a pest control guy to begin with. So now if there is something that starts, I can just tell them next time I see them. Oh, hey, man, I've uh, been having shit crawl on me at night or whatever. <laughs> I've been getting bit, but I've had no problems. Thank God. But he just still, you know, I have him come every month just as a mm. preventative, you know. So right. nothing does start, you know? So, yeah, it's just it's something I do. I pay him to be my bug guy. That's all. Like He's you guys, bug dude. You have a bug guy here, don't you? I don't know. Oh, okay. I'm sure they probably do. I mean, I don't know much about it. I'm not. Nah. Yeah, well, you haven't seen, you know, a whole lot of shit. No. Here, so. so I'm sure they do. I mean, it is a, uh, you know, corporately owned, I'm sure. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure they have a bug, bug mm -hmm. guy that comes by. And uh, so, yeah, no, he comes every month. That's just what I have him do. That's routine. <laughs> routine bug dude. Yeah, routine bug dude. Actually, he was telling me a story today about somebody who um, he he actually co-signed on a loan for this guy. And oh. now the guy won't pay it back. So guess who he came back on? So, uh, I'm guessing that would be him. Yeah. So he's telling me about it. And he's like, yeah, he's like, I got to pay this loan off and. And I'm like, I would say fuck it. And he's like, yeah, but I, you know, I co-signed and, you know, now I'm legally bound to it. And I'm right. like, oh, man, that's fucking horrible. <laughs> so, but, um, yeah. So he's like, you know, and I'm, I'm an honest person. He's like, I tried to negotiate. And he was just saying how the banks just won't, will not work with you. You know, he offered right. him a lower amount. And they said, well, where are you going to get your money from? <laughs> it's like, well, asshole, you want the full amount? Where am I going to get that from? <laughs> right so their shit is very unreasonable in a lot of cases <laughs> but uh, anyway oh i rode with uh remember forrest gump the driver well i call him forrest gump right because he talks and walks really slow he talks like this right and um so he uh he picked me up today and so we're riding and so of course he's got to ask me you know he, he was the one that was asking me all the questions about the show originally yeah, you know, I remember you saying about that the radio show. Yeah, I kind of brought him up before, I think. And uh, so he goes, "How's the radio show going?" And I'm like, "Oh, it's going good." I'm Gumpy Dump Dump. And then he goes, 
yeah, stem radio. And I'm like, oh, you listened. And he's like, yeah, I'll listen to a few minutes of it. A few like, minutes. I'm like, okay. You were so dick rideative about it originally. I was like, well, what was it you didn't like about it? Now and, he don't like it. And he goes, it's just not my kind of show. And I'm like, well, why is that? He's like, oh, I prefer to listen to music rather than talk. And, and which, okay, is a that's a legitimate, you know, um, right. thing. You know, there are some people who would prefer. You know, hell, when I listen to the radio, I prefer to listen to, to music. Well, yeah, I don't. When I'm listening to radio, I don't really like to listen to talk. Yeah, I'm not a big talk show. You no. know, I never was. But anyway, I um, so he goes, uh, yeah, he goes, it's just not my kind of show. Then later in the thing, he goes, I like to listen to Howard Stern sometimes, though. <laughs> and I'm thinking, okay. You like Howard Stern. <laughs> See, this is the thing. People love shit because it's corporate. You know, it makes no difference of, oh, I like what he does better than you or, or whatever. It's because it's corporately fucking pushed, and therefore they, God, I've just never seen such a society of fucking robots, you know, that are so complacent. Get used to it. God. It seems to get worse as the days go by. Everything, you know, like everything that's got some corporate backing they mm -hmm. love, but if you're not corporate... You know, they're just, and it's funny because, like, you and I just kind of spit in the face of everything corporate. <laughs> you know, we just hate everything. That's why we're not rich. <laughs> well, you know what, though? I'd rather have my dignity. Right. You know, I'd, I'd have my pride and my dignity before I fucking, you know, would be this rich asshole going, hmm, how'd I get all this money? Oh, I sucked ass? Oh, okay. Yeah, that meant I, I can feel really good about myself now. You know, I just lick somebody's ball sack <laughs> to make all the money that I make. Yeah, I, I can feel good about that. That makes me feel good. And people would always say that to me, like, well, you mean to tell me you wouldn't change? Like when I did music, you know, and, and I said, you know, and they were like, well, you mean if somebody offered you a million dollars, you wouldn't take it for that? And I'm like, <laughs> no, because I, I don't like the fact, you know, I sucked ass. That, does, that doesn't make me proud of my craft anymore. Doesn't make you feel good? <laughs> no. It's like, well, gee, I just sucked a lot of ball bag to get to where I am now. Um, yeah, I feel really good about myself. <laughs> you know? How can you? I mean, who doesn't like to suck some nut? Hmm. Well, I don't know. I mean, come on. You got to feel good about yourself if you're licking a sweaty nut sack. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Especially, you know, you have the aftertaste of <laughs> taint jelly in your mouth. And, right. You know? So what the fuck? Yeah, so I, I would rather feel good about myself and go, all right, man, I fought, but everything I fought for... I got, you know what I'm saying? Right. So like I I did this shit. So when you do get something good, you know that it's you who got it for you, not somebody, somebody else. Somebody else. You know, as opposed to, well, gee, I just sucked a lot of ass, and all I had to do was lick some ball bag. You know, <laughs> hey, you know, it's grounds. Of, anyway, obviously feels good. You know, right. Dig your teeth into the pillow, and that's grounds that make it feel good, right? Hey, depends on if you like it that way. God, but there's so many people that are so willing to settle. That's just that's the thing that bothers me, man. <laughs> the whole country's went that way god i just can't even you know and, and even with anything you mm -hmm. know like like i've said before even with dating you know everybody's like why not why because i'm not into that person <laughs> well, couldn't you just no i couldn't just pretend to be into the person and eventually wind up liking him and accepting it you know this is that's not how i operate you know I, if there's something i like right. i like it for a reason if there's something i hate i hate it for a reason so I'm not just going to, because somebody says I should like something, you right. know, going back to the iPhones and all the shit we were talking about first hour. Yeah. I'm not just going to, you know, go for the flavor of the month because everybody else likes it. So I should like it too. Mm -hmm. You know, I, there's a and lot. You should. Matter of fact, I, I'm kind of the other way around the other extreme. You, you want to take it. If, if they're trying to tell you it's good, you really want to be a little bit cynical about it or skeptical. Yeah. I fight it. Right. I'm like, oh, cause everybody else likes it. I hate it now. <laughs> <laughs> so you're you know, up. up Oppositional defiance. I am, man. I'm the type of person that's like, oh, really? Everybody likes it? I don't it? know why I was going to say oppositional. I did say it right that it time. Right. Op oppos I always, now I'm trying to say it wrong and I can't. Uh, is it, op were you trying to say oppositionally? No. Oppositional defiant, but there's times I've, I always say it and I say oppositional. I can't, op yeah. Oh. Something. When I'm trying to say when I'm trying to say it wrong, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> but then when you try to say it right, you can't. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> so hey, either way, I'm just going to take that word out of my vocabulary. There you go. Although it sounds so good, yeah, it's it a does. million dollar it's, word. Doesn't, doesn't it sound classic? Oppositional defiant. Oppositional defiant. Sounds like an album, man. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh, it's just funny how how so many people are just so dicklerpy of the stuff. You know, 
The same thing, I mean, pretty much Howard Stern, okay, with the exception of he has strippers on and more people, there's more stuff going on on his show. Right. But d- don't kid yourself. He kissed ass. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> you know? So, you know, contrary to what he would like you to believe and what you saw from, like, movies like Private Parts and right. you go, oh, man, this guy really struck. Okay, yeah, he went through some shit. He went against the grain. But at the end of the day, he sucked a little dick to where he needs to be. Yeah. You know, he didn't just keep it, it didn't real. It just happen, no. Yeah. You know, so in my case, you know, like the driver last night was asking me, well, can you get paid doing what you do, man? I mean, is there, and I'm like, well, I guess you could, but you know, it's not really my, and, and he was one of those, or was it him? There was one driver that asked me about my radio station. And I'm like, dude, Your radio <laughs> well, station. it's just funny to me that like you've said before, people think I own the radio station, <laughs> like it's my station, but yet you who owns the radio station? I think I got a you, show. Yeah, like, oh, how's your radio show? Yeah, <laughs> fucker, I own the station. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, everybody's so. Like I said Howard Stern could say the same things, and he's okay. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying some shit, and you're not feeling it. So, yeah, which is fine. Isn't that nice the way it runs. Yeah, it's just uh, <laughs> you know, it'd be one thing if you're just like, oh, I, I just don't like what you're talking about. It's gross. It's this and it's that. But you like Howard Stern doesn't make any fucking sense (laughs) you know the guy who says well probably a little more tamer than me well of course he does because he's got to kiss ass (laughs) where i say what's real you know i don't ever have to kiss ass yeah i don't have to kiss ass that's the cool thing you know so you may have money and you may do what you want and whatever and you know you always get your bills paid but I don't have to kiss ass. <laughs> so I have dignity and I don't have to kiss ass. Right. It works for me. I'll take that any old day. You may not be living like Rockefeller, but you're living like you want to. Exactly. That's it. Mm-hmm. I'm happy with what I got. Right. Man. Well, I wouldn't want to. You know, I'm thinking, you know, all right, let's 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 make the scenario. Let's say all of a sudden somebody says, you know, mm-hmm. all right, man, we're going to give you all this money to do what you love. Well, guess what? First of all, if I have to change my content. I'm not doing what I love, am I? No. no <laughs> I'm doing what you love. You've given into what, yeah. What, what, you know, what I'm told to love. So that right there, I'm compromising. <laughs> then, you know, I'd be living, you know, and I wouldn't want, I don't, you, you know how I'm fucking pissed off I get when drivers start talking to me about the show. And, right. you know, I just want to be me, man. I, I don't want to make a spectacle of myself. And, you know, even, you know, I've told you before. When I go in restaurants and people make the big deal about, do you have a Braille menu? Blind guy here, blind guy here. You know, I don't like that either. I'm like, I don't want to be made a spectacle. I just want to come in and eat my meal. And leave. Don't you fucking bother me. Let me just enjoy my shit. Don't come over to me. Don't talk to me. Don't Just leave me alone. But yeah, I'm sure you do get a lot of that, though. I mean, because they feel they have to approach you. Yeah. Blind. Well, y- yeah, just as a blind person. Yeah, instead of just going in and being able to sit down, eat, oh, and yeah. leave. Yeah, yeah, no, I get a lot of that too. You know, if I'm out, you know, walking around or going somewhere or something, right. you know, I get some blind bullshit somewhere. Somewhere, you know, like I said with the SMJ thing, um, you know, I get SMJ'd at some point. Okay. Although I gotta say, today I got no SMJs. Nothing. I know you didn't ask for the music, and no, even though you we, have new music ready to we go, we do have new music, so I can't wait till I get an <laughs> SMJ. Now watch when I leave, I'll get the biggest, fattest SMJ ever. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> you watch. No, I'm sure I'll have something at some point. We'll get to use the new music, courtesy of DJ Ism. Ism. You can check out his SoundCloud, soundcloud.com slash DJ Ism. So, which, by the way, it sounds like Digism. <laughs> when when Jaws pronounces it, it's like DJ Ism. comes up? It's like soundcloud.com slash Digism. And I'm like, Jism? So then I got to go character by character. But, uh, yeah, check out DJ Ism on SoundCloud. And if anybody's looking for some house music or something like that, contact the fucker. <laughs> so, because he's looking to spin, do some shit. But he hooked us up some music that's, um, you know, we're going to make it work. Yeah. You know, like I said, it. it, it we get to take a little bit to get used to because it's, it's new. something that's different. And we've done it for years with the other ones. So. Right. And it's kind of not what I had in mind, but mm-hmm. it's still going to work. It's, it's going to have a different feel. That's all. Right. So. Well, uh, when we have an SMJ. You had to get used to the very first original one you did, so. Yeah, well, that one, yeah, that one had to grow on me, too. Yeah. You know, because, I mean, I heard it, and I figured that was acceptable. We could make it work. Mm-hmm. And we did for years. But now, look. Now, every all the elements, all talk is all new now. Yeah. Like, the SMJ much. music is, is yeah. new. After the that, yeah. intro to the show is new. 
Um, most of the commercials we play are new. So mm-hmm. <laughs> all the old shit's been wiped clean, man. Except for, um, uh, well, I'll probably wait until you. But... Oh, what? You going to make a gay crack? No. <laughs> no, seriously. I, I wasn't going to do that. No? No. Um, everything's new except for one thing old coming back. One thing old coming back? One thing. Just one. I don't think that's old that's coming back. Yeah, that was here before, and it's got to come back because that's... So oh, is it a sh- was it a show? V. Oh, She's yeah, She's going to come back and help run some stuff sure. while, I'm, while I'm on my vacation. Sure. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you actually had a worried look on your face uh, for a second. <laughs> yeah, maybe for a half a second. I wasn't believing that shit. I'm like, yeah, right, V's coming back here. Like, your mom would fucking tolerate any of that shit. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. Hell, we can't get her out here to see her kids. What the fuck makes you think she's going to come out here and work the radio station? She wants to see the kids, but she just doesn't want to do anything else. And then imagine her working the board back there. She had she trouble would. with the old board. Oh, uh, yeah, this would be. I mean, this is way huh. advanced, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that might not go so well. No, and I think you probably lose all your shows. And, probably. Yeah. There's no doubt about that. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't want that. Although, all the new people that's never seen her boobs, we'll see them. Well, that's true. That might keep some yeah, I people. Don't. She might not be like that anymore. I don't know. Like I said, I'm three and a half years now with her, so yeah. I have no idea what she's changed, how much she's changed. No clue. Uh, all I gotta say there is live and let die. <laughs> you know, just let it go. Let that shit. Roll. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah, pretty kinda, much. Kind of let it snow, except for let it go. You know, old shit. Oh, speaking of that, I heard. <laughs> this is kind of funny. So these ice cream trucks mm-hmm. that are around here, there's several of them that I think are owned by like Middle Eastern guys. Right. And they're playing Christmas music and don't realize it. <laughs> now? <laughs> yeah, well, I, I heard this today. I was on the bus, and we're dropping some guy off. And all of a sudden, I hear this computerized version of Silent Night. And I'm like, what the fuck? Is that somebody's ringtone? And then I'm hearing it continuing. And I'm like, it's an ice cream truck. I can tell by the you know the tones and shit. Right. And I'm like, it's an ice cream truck. It's playing Silent Night. <laughs> so, And I remember Shell back in the day, in her neighborhood, there was an ice cream truck that came by that would play... Uh, it was either Silent Night or Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer or Jingle Bells. In summer. During the summer. Oh, yeah. It would be like, you know, June or something, and it's playing. <laughs> and I'm thinking, oh, you know what? It's probably owned by some by Davy the Doom Coon. He doesn't realize that, you know, that's seasonal. Yeah, that we're not playing Christmas music to eat fucking ice cream cones. Yeah, it's like that's seasonal mu- music here, man, <laughs> in the States. What did that? You guys listen to uh, what? And you know that really fucks probably with the kid's head because they want the ice cream, but they want christmas too so right and they know it's not christmas so it's really messing with them well i wonder what yeah what a kid would think about that like yeah. why you know i would question yeah if i was a kid i would probably say you know Mom, why are they playing christmas why music? has it got christmas music on in the ice cream truck and it's june and then what do you say well uh son uh davy the dune coon's not from here <laughs> you know he's from where they bathe in their own urine and feces well it could simply just be that they're following along with that thing that kids don't um you know, they don't have um, concepts. Well, of- yeah, and, and, and Santa Claus never had any kids. So, how, you know, so they're thinking maybe if Santa didn't have any kids, it can go all year round. They're just not sure about it. It's, it's questionable to them, you know, because I mean, he couldn't have kids. Because he had snowballs. <laughs> now, on that note, motherfuckers, I'm Maxwell Silverhammer. I'm GJ. Snowball Jewick me. <laughs> and, and that's, that's the, the story, story there, bitches. bitches. I got a piss. See ya. See ya. <laughs>